Hey guys, welcome to Brit Indians. I'm Joshua. Yes, you can see there's a change in my location. Uh, I came back to UK. So in my previous videos, as you guessed, uh, I was in India. I was making my videos from India due to lockdown. I got stuck in India. So I took my flight on 24th of September and I came to UK. Now I'm in the UK. So I'm going to make uh, like uh, many people were asking me to make vlogs. So I will try to make as much as vlogs as I can. So in this video, I'm going to explain about my flight experience uh, with the British Airways uh, while traveling from India to UK. So that's what you're going to see in this video. And there are uh, more other videos that's going to come in this channel. So keep watching the channel. I will be giving videos about uh, how to do courseworks and then uh, uh, I will do videos about uh, how to do a, a master's uh, thesis dissertation and then I'll give other visa updates and uh, travel vlogs and much more. So keep watching the channel and keep supporting as usual. So let's get into the video. On the day of my journey, I reached the airport three hours before my flight time. I filled my passenger locator form within 48 hours of my journey. There was no crowd in the airport as the British Airways flight was scheduled in the early morning 5.30 am from Chennai. The check-in was smooth and the immigration was fast and I reached the gate in 30 minutes. Parents had to say goodbye near the entrance itself. They are not allowed inside due to Covid restriction. I have given a link above for your packing list and for the things that you can carry in your cabin and uh, check-in luggage. Seatings were mentioned with social distancing stickers before the flight. They gave us a PPE with the face mask, face shield and hand sanitizers. Exactly 45 minutes before the flight, they started the boarding process. Due to social distancing measures, the center seats were not filled, only the window and aisle seats were occupied. The economy seats itself were quite comfortable. There are premium economy, but I felt comfortable with economy itself. After 45 minutes in the air, they brought the first snack for the travel. It had hot veg or non-veg roll, a muffin, a yogurt kind of thing and a water bottle. The muffin and the roll was nice but it was not filling the stomach. I was hungry after 30 minutes itself. The entertainment system was not that good. 
I didn't have regional collections. They had European, English, Chinese, Arabic and Hindi movies only. The toilet was neat and clean. The seat was comfortable with the headrest. Since there was no one in the nearby seat, I was able to stretch my leg and sit comfortably. One hour before landing, they gave us the next snack. It was a cold sub, chocolate fudge and vegetables. The flight landed 30 minutes before estimated time and we were asked to disembark the flight in groups based on our seat numbers. For newcomers to the UK, I have made a video on what to expect in the immigration and customs. I will link the video above, you can check that. The immigration queue was less, so I finished the immigration in 10 minutes. They asked for passenger locator form and the passport. Once I came out of the arrivals, there were signs for getting a taxi or a bus or a train to London. Also, there will be shops to book National Express coach, taxi and for newcomers, you can buy a SIM card in the airport itself if you want to.
there will be two trains to London. One is the Heathrow Express. It is quite costly. It takes you to London in 15 minutes. There is another underground line. It will take one hour to go to London. I took the underground train. I went to the ticket machine and selected my destination and selected the ticket type. You can pay using cash in the bottom place where it shows 5 pound, 10 pound or 20 pound notes. You can also use the coin drop in the top and you can pay using the card slot and use the pin pad to enter the pin number. The underground train was totally deserted till I reached London. I hope you liked this video and it was useful for all people who are planning to travel using British Airways from India to UK. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell icon so, so that you will get notified whenever I post a new video. We will meet in next video, until then goodbye, cheers.